now it's 8.45, 36 degrees in South Jersey. Our high today is going to be 46 with periods of rain, and then it's going to be cloudy, maybe some sunshine this afternoon. But, Yamira, the best part about today is that it's Friday. Yes, there's so many great things about today, John. Well, there's a lot of good things. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that, of positive things happening on yeah. our show this morning. Yeah, and if you were listening earlier, you know one of them. It's Nutella. It's World Nutella Day. All right. With that said, we have our special guest joining us right now. Uh, We have Tim Ewing. He's president and founder of Kindred Ministries and the Kindred Awards. Good morning, Tim. How are you? Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. This is awesome. Oh, we're so happy to have you here with us this morning. So we're excited. We want our listeners to get to know you and also Kindred Ministries. So if you could just share with our listeners a little bit about what this ministry is all about. Sure. Just like you guys try to promote positivity and um, bring great stories of encouragement. That's what we do with Kindred. We go into the community. We'll set up a concert in a park. We'll go to a school. We'll go to a rec center or church, anywhere that people will have us. And we'll just invite some local talents and set up a concert and just be a, a blessing and a light in the community through through music. So, Tim, tell us a little bit about yourself and your connection with Christian music and, and local Christian artists. Well, I consider myself to be a jack of all trades, but master of none, because I put on so many hats throughout the course of my day. But my primary you know, thing is I'm a, a father of four beautiful kids, Joshua, Annalise, um, Evan, and Wesley, and they're my life, and I love them very much. And most of my time is set towards focusing on them, but I'm also a school bus driver. I do um, my own original songs and songwriting. That's just a couple of things. In terms of how I got interested in, in music, my parents um, both were very musical. My mom played the trumpet, my dad played clarinet. And uh, when I was four years old, they had got me a little AM FM radio. And I just started scanning up and down the dials and just getting a feel for what was out there. I you know, found all sorts of great music from classical to rock to pop to you know, everything that was on the radio station, I was just, you know, absorbing it and just enjoying it as a kid. And I learned how to play the violin at age five and just started to really just learn about music in general and how to read it and how aspects of it. And as I, you know, got older, my parents were religious. So we were in church every week and we went to youth group and we had Bible studies and um, my youth leader would introduce us to Christian music and different people. And so I started to get a, you know, big catalog of CDs that I would listen to and just kind of From there, um, I I wanted to be a radio DJ like you guys, and I went to school for for radio. Um, The school that I went to promised me they had a radio station, but they didn't. So my freshman year, I actually built the radio station from scratch and started to develop that. I had my own radio show. So that's how I got my connections with the concerts and with radio and and starting to meet people because I would interact with local people. I would interact with national people. I would have interviews. I would do you know, all sorts of crazy fun out, outreach fun things through the, through the radio station. And then um, I also was a youth leader. So I was kind of combining the two elements of reaching young, young people and incorporating my knowledge of local music and bands and stuff from my radio show to kind of do what we do now. That is an amazing story. You know, Tammy, you're, you're using all your gifts and talents and and put it into a ministry, which is fantastic. So, so Tim, what, is the Kindred Awards. Uh, There's a weekend scheduled later this year Mm -hmm. um, that we want to share with our listeners. And when is it? Where is it? Give us some details. And I know there's an opportunity here for our listeners to participate and support this event. So we want to share that as well. Sure. Well, the Kindred Awards is actually in its sixth year, which is kind of crazy because when I first started, I did it on a Women of Prayer. Um, I had just been doing the concerts and the outreaches. But as I've been interacting with the local artists, I've been finding that they need encouragement that they don't really have a lot of support because most of them aren't on a major record label or don't have, you know, huge financial backing from, you know, a CD distribution or whatever. So a lot of them are doing it on their own accord and a lot of them are getting frustrated. So God was kind of placing on my heart, do something more for the people that are in this community that are doing great work, that are making amazing music and having a message of, of hope and positivity. And that's when the idea for an award show kind of came to be. And I was like, well, I've never done an award show, but I'll do it. God, if, this is what you want. So I, you know, started researching award shows and trying to figure out how they run and operate and what their format was. I started contacting venues. I started contacting the the nominees and saying, would you guys be interested in having an award show? And they were all excited. They were on board. And so within three months, I wrote the script. I put it all together. I did it. And it went so well that people were like, yeah, this is so awesome. You're doing it next year, right? I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just have to pray about this because this is way out of my comfort zone. I'd never planned anything that on that big of a scale. But as I continued to be faithful and, you know, continue to do it, God kept opening doors and bringing people into my life that would help me and to come aside me. And 
as I've been doing it more and more, it's just been growing and growing and growing. And here we are year six. Um, but the, the idea of the actual award show weekend is um, on Friday is going to be June 11th. Online, we're going to have what we call our artist, artist showcase. And it's just going to give you 15 to 20 minute small set lists from some of the nominees that are um, going to be part of the show. And um, you can just kind of get a feel for what they do and what they sound like and just kind of enjoy live music. And it's just going to be um, there's going to be hosts and it's going to be just like a kind of like the Apollo in a sense. It's going to be just like different snippets of different people throughout the course of the night. And then the actual award shows on June 12th. And that's going to have 25 different categories. And there's going to be over two hours of live music. There's surprises. There's a lot of interaction, high energy fun. It's just going to be a really great time to just kind of celebrate what people are doing locally in music and ministry throughout the tri-state area of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, um, and New York are the primary states that are um, part of the nominees. And then Sunday night, uh, because we're a Christian organization, we, we, we want to make people aware that, you know, this is God's ministry. This is God's doing. And we want to give back to God and say, thank you. And it's kind of like a worship night. So the Sunday night closing on the 13th is going to be a worship focused event where the, the musicians are going to kind of do songs of praise and, and, and adoration to God. And, and thanks for what he's done in our lives. So Tim, if someone's listening right now and they want to maybe participate or support the event, how can they do that? Well, we're actually doing a fundraiser on the 20th of February. So if they want to jump on, we're doing a music bingo. It's going to be virtual. But what they do is they go on our Facebook page and go to our event site. And then they click on the event right and they um, get a ticket. And then basically after that, they'll go to either the Cash App or the PayPal, which is a link to it. And they can donate. And then anybody who donates will get um, a bingo card the night of the event. And then basically I'll play different snippets, snippets of popular songs. And then they just match the song with their bingo card. And if they get bingo, there's prizes um, that are involved. We have like gift cards. We have studio time for musicians to go and record for five hours. We have um, all sorts of really great things that they can win. So I'm hoping that that gives an incentive for people to, to donate and to participate. So if they invest $10 in the ministry, they can possibly win $10 to up to like $5,000 for like the recording studio time. And, and get their money back for, you know, for the prizes that are part of it. And um, that's all on our Facebook page. And that's www.facebook.com backslash Kindred Ministries NJ. So Tim, the artists that are being uh, the nominees, there's an opportunity here for our listeners to take a listen to them and actually cast their vote for their yes. favorite. Share a little bit about that. They can go on our actual ministry page. It's kindredministries.us and they just go right down to the bottom and the, the poll will be right there. They just pick the people that they want. And um, if they don't know anybody and they want to skip it, they can skip it. And then at the end, they submit it and that's how they vote. They can also hear the music and well as learn more about the artists on the top part of the page. There's a click me that says hear the musicians and uh, find out and meet the new um, the nominees. So they can kind of discover that as well and see all the amazing local talent that's right in their neck of the woods. So, Tim, um, we have a couple of minutes left here. Mm -hmm. If someone who's listening right now maybe has never attended a Christian concert before, why should they give one a try? Like, what, what makes the, your concert unique? Well, we, well, at Kindred, we pride ourselves on being diverse. We don't like to, you know, be in a box. There's so many different amazing people that have talents in all different styles and genres. So when you come to an event, like, you're getting, you know, unity kind of focused event. We're trying to bring, you know, together the community. We're trying to bring together all sorts of cultures and we have a high energy approach. We're family friendly. We try to just make it, you know, just a fun event that you can just enjoy yourself, whether you're a Christian or not. There's, you know, positivity and a message of hope is pretty much what we offer. And, you know, with so many things that are shut down, we want to still be able to have something that's good, that's positive, that even your kids can watch and enjoy and be proud of that, you know, this is all local. This is all things that you know, you can support people that are right in your area. And I, I think that's what makes us unique is because we are local. We're not a national touring agency. We don't, you know, go, you know, other words, anywhere other than this area. So Tim, on a personal note, I, mm -hmm. I can say that your event is very well done, very Thank professional. Uh, yeah, my yeah. husband uh, actually participated. I think it was two years ago. He was yes. one of the nominees. He also and performed. Yeah, and it was it was an awesome event. Um, he really appreciated being nominated and being able to share his talent with everyone. So uh, on our behalf, we want to <laughs> thank you and yeah, for no this, problem. this type of event on because it is really well done and it's and it's a wonderful time. It was a lot of fun. 
All right, so, uh, so Tim, in closing, we want to give you an opportunity to share some words of positivity and encouragement for our listeners. I would just say, if you've always had a dream to do something in your life, just try and do it. Because for me, like, I had this vision a long time ago, but I kind of put it on the back burner for different reasons. And then after fighting with God for so long, I finally just said, okay, it's time to, to, to be obedient and to listen and to do it. So if you've kind of have something that you've always dreamed of doing, whether it be, you know, writing a, a CD or doing an artwork or starting a business or something that you've always wanted to do, that's a passion of yours, just go out and, and do it because the more time that you procrastinate, you know, it just doesn't, it's not helpful. So follow your dreams and, and, and listen to your heart would be my suggestion for something that you can use for that. Oh, very well said, uh, Tim. We thank you once again for being with us this morning on The Positive Perspective. We've been talking with Tim Ewing, president and founder of Kindred Ministries and the Kindred Awards coming up this June 11th, uh, 12th, and 13th. You could actually go on their website, Kindred Ministry. Dot us um, and go ahead and take, get more information, check out the nominees and cast your vote there. All right, Tim, thank you again for joining us uh, on the show today and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. This has been great. All right, stay with us. Uh, we are going to have another special guest joining our show. We're going to have Vineland Mayor Anthony Finucci with a community update from the city of Vineland. That's coming up in a few minutes here on Pop FM 99.9, Power of Positivity. Hello, this is Jill San Andrea, your local real estate expert from Exit Homestead Realty Professionals. I specialize in helping buyers and sellers find their 